it starts with one I don't know why it doesn't even matter how hard you try Keep not here we have the relational operators these here are what we call the relational operators which are and or or not here are the uses on this side over here they're really simple to remember just listen properly and you will understand for the AND operator, we use this usually where it returns a true message when two different criteria are met. Here we have the OR operator where we use this where it returns a true message when one of, two, when one of two criteria is met. Here we have the NOT operator where we use this because it returns a true message when neither of the criteria are met. Now, in a few minutes, in a few seconds, I'll be showing you some ways in which we use these operators. Okay, here I have a simple program showing you how to use the relational operator AND. Here we have declared the variables A and B as type integer. We have started our program. We have written a line of text saying guess a number between 1 and 10. We stored the number within A. We wrote another line of text saying guess another number between 1 and 10. We stored the next value in B. Then we said if A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 2, then write a line of text saying correct. Now let's test this out. Compile my program. Note, I have already gone to this directory within my command prompt window. If you would like to see how to do this, please check my first episode. Let's run arithmetic.exe. Guess a number between 1 and 10. 1. Guess another number between 1 and 10. 2. As you can see, it has worked exactly as we expected. Okay, yet I have here yet another simple program, very similar to my last one. But in this one, I'll be showing you how to use the relational operator OR. Here we have declared variable A and B as type integer. We have started our program. We have written a line of text saying guess a number between 1 of 10. We stored this value in variable A. We wrote another line of text saying guess another number between 1 and 10. We have stored this value in variable B and here we say if A is equal to 1 or B is equal to 2 then we write a line of text saying you got at least one right. Now let's compile this. Let's test this out again. Guess the number between 1 and 10. Now according to my program, if I get at least one right, it will print a line saying you have gotten one right. Let's test this out. The first one, let's get this first one right, and the second one wrong. It has worked. Let's try this yet again. Let's try to get the first one wrong and the second one right. Yes, we have. Now let's try getting both right. Sorry. Let's try getting both right. And here you go. Okay, here I have my last program to show you how to use the relational operator NOT. Here we have declared the variable A as the type integer. We have started our program. We have written a line of text saying, guess a number between 1 and 10. We have stored this number within variable A. Here we say, if A is not equal to 1, then write a line of text saying you got it wrong. If A is equal to 1, then write a line of text saying you got it right. Let's compile this and see how it works. Okay, if we type 1, it's supposed to say you got it right. 
it has. Now let's see what happens if we type something other than one. Okay, that's it for today and please come back probably next week for my next episode where I will show you how to use the relational operators and I will also teach you a little bit about algorithm development today and this was doing your motherboard. I know design is trying to explain in due time. All I know time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day, the clock ticks.